Hey everyone, it's Karen here and my horses are in the background. I wanted to jump on this live video because I have something really exciting to announce and I just have a few minutes but I couldn't wait to tell you guys about it. So I wanted to show you, we just got this in. Um, we unloaded all the boxes yesterday. Some of you might have seen the picture that I had. Um, but it's my um, Happy Athlete Progress Journal. There it is. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about it and give you a peek inside. We just put it live on the web shop. And so you guys are the first to see it. So happy. Now the reason I made this is because a lot of my students in the virtual courses or from clinics um, ask me about how I create a training plan for my horses. How do I decide what I'm going to do every day? And um, because you know I can I can tell you what I do with my horses and I can give some general rules and general guidelines and that's you know always what I teach, but the only way for you to really figure out how to make a training plan is to practice thinking like that. So this is how I teach everything, right? I don't just tell you what to do, I tell you how to think about things so that you can arrive at the decisions and the results yourself. <laughs> Crows are going crazy. And then it's easier to modify from there. So I wanted to create a journal where you could practice creating a plan. like. Create, create a plan and then see how it goes. Notice and then, <laughs> my old cat came in, and then after you notice how it went, then you can adjust your plan and see if the adjustment works and then be consistent. So if you can practice having a plan, notice the results and then adjust and then notice those results and you do that consistently, you will be making training plans. And then if you start to see, you know, the whatever patterns you have, maybe you look up and you go, oh gosh, I'm doing the same thing in the same place all the time. This journal will help you notice that. And it's also very holistic. So of course everything I do is sort of focused on getting better movement from your horse and in partnership, but this journal is holistic. So it includes as options, I, I give you ideas for options of what you can do with your horse and that includes like spa day, grooming time. <laughs> um, you can be, you know, on the trail, in the arena, in a field. So let me show you inside. I think this is the better. I'll see if I can turn this around. And of course, you know, there's a cat sitting on my journal. There's Remy. So here's the journal and I'll try to speak loudly enough that you can hear me. And it starts with reminding ourselves what we're trying to do, the object of dressage, introduction. So suggestions on how to use this journal, and this is really cool. So um, when you're making your plan, you can think about where are you going to be with your horse, the arena, the field, the trail. What are you going to be doing? Are you going to be working on foundation or gymnastics, you know, or silly horse tricks or non-demanding time? And then you're going to answer the question of how are you going to do it? Are you going to be riding? Are you going to be online? Are you going to be with one line or long lines? Are you going to be at liberty? And then this is important. Why are you doing what you're doing? So is the purpose of the day's exercise to be easy and build confidence? Is the purpose to up level? Is the purpose to go deep inside an exercise? And um, really deconstruct. Ooh, the sun just popped out. <laughs> I hope you can see this. Let me see if I can move to a spot that's not so bright sun. So the trying to find the purpose of what you're doing the exercise for is really important. Maybe that's better. Oh, and then the cat's going to come. So we go through all the different options of what, of where, what, how, and why. And then I give you kind of an overview reminder of the different categories. Get your priorities straight. It's called partnership, movement, then gymnastics in that order. Those are your priorities. And then we do um, a weekly, you set a weekly changeable plan. So I gave an example where you fill out the day of the week. Hi, Phoenix. <laughs> and you make your plan. You make your plan for the entire week. So you, you know, you sit at the beginning of the week and you go, this is what I think I'm going to do, but then it's changeable. So as you go, 
in this example, depending on how the day before goes, you might change your plan. So it's called a changeable plan on purpose because I want you to get in the habit of a changing and adjusting. And at the end of the week, you do a week in review and you write down detailed how it went. Did you change your, your mind? What did your horse love? <laughs> what did he not? All right. And then, and then you're going to have daily plans. So this is all an introduction. I'll go, I'm going to go through everything. So the next piece in this journal is, um, I call it state of the union. So you just fill in, you know, kind of where are you right now with your horse? That's important. So we, we figure out where are you now? Phoenix. <laughs> and you know, what's working, what's not working now? Then we'll set some goals, dreams, goals, and realities. <laughs> so set your, your intention for the next, um, each one of these journals is 12 weeks. So like three months approximately. And so once you've done that, you've set your goals, then, oh, let me sit down. <laughs> then we start diving in. So you'll have your weekly changeable plan at the beginning of, the, of your week. You'll set your plan, figure out the days, kind of the blueprint of what you're thinking you'd like to do this week with your horse. And this is really important too, because it's, um, you know, you can think in terms of one day, one week, three months. Um, but this is where you practice making a plan in advance. This is the important part, that it's not just day to day, but you practice having a plan for the week. And then at the end of the week, we'll come back and review it. So after you set your weekly plan, then there's a daily plan. We create a mantra for the day and then write down where, what, how, why, you know, things to remember to do. And here, this is at the end, you go, what do you want your horse to tell his friends that he learned today from this exercise? At the end of the day, you do a daily review. And so that goes on for seven days. And then at the end of the seventh day, you'll get to another uh, week, another set, another weekly plan. Phoenix. <laughs> Every weekly plan day has a little inspiring quote or something. So that goes on for 12 weeks. Excuse me, Phoenix. And then when we get to the end of the journal, we'll get to the very end. It's called looking back to go forward. You know, what are three ways you and your horse improved since starting the journal? What are three pieces of advice you can give yourself moving forward? What are you most proud of? What would your horse say about the time since you started this journal? You know, what adjectives are new that you could use to describe your horse? So, um, here I am again. So I'm super excited about this. You know, you, anybody who knows me knows, you know, I, I like giving information. I'm happy to share information, but what I really get excited about is trying to figure out ways to get people to realize how much they can do on their own if you just start noticing and feeling and tr experimenting um, on your own. So that's what this Happy Athlete Progress Journal is all about. I put the link to it in the web shop and we can even do a special package price. Um, you get four for the price of three if you decide to do a year's worth of journals. Um, we'll make that really easy for you. So anyway, I'm super excited. So go check it out on the web shop. Um, maybe even just listening to this video um, helps, helps you to think about how to plan for your horse. So I hope you got something out of that. Um, and ooh, I can't wait for you guys to try it out. So that's it. That's I just had to say that. And um, Remy. Remy is here keeping me company. And Phoenix. So I'm sitting on the grass. I have to go. I've got a, I'm almost late for my appointment at the gym. Stay strong. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Feel free to email me with any questions you have about the journal, but they're here. They're ready to ship. And I can't wait for you to make your happy athlete progress. Okay, that's it. Bye.